So welcome back to another Wad Gear camera comparison, compare and contrast video. And today I'm comparing the Sony Xperia XZ3. I only just got this phone. I know it's been out for a while, but I only just got it. I am an underdog out here in the UK, so I don't get stuff straight away. But I finally did get it. And I know you guys are Sony fans, so hopefully you're gonna like this video. It's gonna be another blind test, so I'm not gonna tell you which one is which until the end of the video. So anyway, uh, it's getting damn cold out here. Winter is coming. So welcome back to another What Gear Shootout, and this is gonna be a blind test. I'm not gonna tell you which camera is which until the very end of this video. So make sure you stay all the way to the end. And I wanna make this video interactive, so there's gonna be polls up in the top right corner for you guys to decide which one's winning. So here's the first photo shot in pretty good light. And one of the things that I noticed straight away about this picture is the sky. If you look at the photo on the left on camera one, you can see there's virtually no blue up there in the sky. And then the same photo shot on camera two, you've got a lot of blue up there and also some shades of orange as well. But then in the subject itself, which is the dog, I feel like camera one may be picking out a bit more detail, but on a whole, maybe camera two is doing better here. What do you guys think? So here's another photo shot in the same place, same time of day, from quite a distance. And once again, you can see definitely more blue in the sky, but deeper greens in camera one. And when we zoom in close to me and the dog in the middle of the photo, which one of these do you think is actually producing a better picture from a long distance? So check this photo out, this is an interesting one because there was quite a lot of brightness coming from behind the trees there. And you can see on camera one you've got a lot of whites in the photo, not as much colour as on camera two. I must admit camera two does a really good job of picking out those oranges, which is hardly any of in camera one. Which one of the cameras do you think did better here? And next up I tested the selfie camera on both phones and you can see on the right there seems to be this kind of orange tint right across the photo, it almost look a bit green. And on the left you definitely get much more natural skin tones. Well at least I'd like to think so, I don't think I looked that green that day. I didn't go out partying the night before or anything like that. So yeah, I feel like camera one is doing better here. And now onto the portrait selfie test. And it's quite clear that camera two definitely is adding more blur to the background there. There is some blur in camera one but Camera 2 is definitely performing better here in my opinion. What do you guys think? Now let's move on to the video stabilization test on the rear cameras. Both cameras did a great job here, which one did better? Let me know in the poll up in the top right corner. So here's another photo that I took to demonstrate the high dynamic range capabilities on both cameras. And on the left you see a much, much brighter photograph and on the right definitely darker but good detail there too. I'm impressed with both cameras on this one, but which one do you think won? So it was getting pretty dark by the time I was leaving the park and I took these last couple of photos across the lake and this one is taken on camera one and you can see there's a really nice photo. You can see that orange in the sky as the sun's going down. Good detail on the water as well. And the same photo shot on camera two is definitely a lot brighter. More detail in the sky. And you can really see what I'm talking about when you put them side by side here. Generally speaking, both photos look pretty good but which one do you think looks better? Leave that in the comments below. So there's a poll up in the top right corner, which one do you think is doing better so far? And now let's move on to the low light camera tests. So here's a photo shot very late at night. There's very little light out there. And you can see in this photograph that camera one seems to be absorbing a lot more light than camera two. And camera two seems to have quite a lot of blurring going on in the photograph as well. When I look at these two photos, I would definitely pick camera number one, but what do you guys think? Leave that in the comments below. So you might not believe it, but it was virtually pitch black when I took this photo. And you can see here the detail on the left hand side, it almost looks like the sky is on fire, but you've got a lot of green coming off those containers there. And the same photo shot on camera two is a completely different photograph. I must admit when it comes to low light performance, the camera one seems to be way ahead, but that's just my opinion. 
So the following day I went into central London for the Asus ROG launch here in the UK and I took a few photos of the Christmas lights up on Regent Street and you can see both photographs really really good. I feel like on the right you get a bit more colour on the left also a very very nice photo less blue coming off the lights though from the christmas decorations it's almost like a stylized picture on the left and on the right it seems like quite a natural picture but which one do you think is doing better so here's a close-up photograph shot of one of the christmas lights up there on regent street and when it comes to contrast and handling the brightness coming off the lights i feel like camera one is doing a great job here but some of you might prefer camera two let me know in the poll up in the top right corner which one you think won this one. Right, so that is the Sony XZ2 versus the iPhone XS Max. Um, I've just come from the ice bar and it had the launch for the Asus ROG phone which also has Sony cameras in it. Um, I wonder how that does in a camera comparison video. But that phone is really about gaming. But listen, there's a poll up in the top right corner which one of these phones done better overall in this video? Leave that in the comments below this. What do you think of the Christmas lights? Up here on Oxford Street, uh, let me know. Wait a minute, this ain't Oxford Street, this is Regent Street. On Regent Street, let me know. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Don't be late. So I wanted to make this video just to demonstrate the day-to-day -day use of these two cameras, selfies and rear photos. And you can see both phones are really great, but I want you guys to make an unbiased decision as to which one you think is better. So here's your last chance to answer a poll up in the top right corner. Which one of these phones wins this camera shootout? Is it the iPhone XS or is it the Sony Xperia XZ3? Let me know in the poll up in the top right corner. So I wanna say a big thank you to you guys for watching another camera shootout from What Gear Reviews. I've got a couple more Xperia videos coming up very soon, so make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up and stay tuned for those ones. And if there's any tests you feel like I should have done in this video, leave that in the comments below and I'll try to add them into the next one. So big shout out to you guys. And I'd really appreciate it if you guys could Hulk smash that subscribe button. See you guys in the next one. Don't be late.